This week's parsha begins with Yehuda's impassioned speech on behalf of his brother Binyamin, asking that the brothers all be allowed, these Binyamin be allowed to return to the father Yaakov in Eretz Yisrael. Yosef, of course, responds with the huge, major piece of information that the brothers are not aware of, Ani Yosef. And this, of course, shuffles all the cards. The Torah tells us, Pasuk Gimel, V'lo yochlu echav la'anot oto ki nevalu mipanav. The brothers could not answer him. Not they did not answer him. They were unable to answer him. Because they were, as we would say, blown away. Ki nevalu mipanav. They were in shock. The Medrash here has a very interesting phrase it uses to describe the feelings of the brothers at this moment and how that should relate to our reality. The Medrash says, Oy lanu miyom hadin, v'oy lanu miyom atolchacha. Woe is to us on Judgment Day. Woe is to us on the day of, of, of proving, on the day of, of a message. And I think the redundancy here is central in understanding the message Chazal wanted to give us. We live our lives with all kinds of assumptions about what we do, why we do. Very often, seeing ourselves self-righteously. We justify to ourselves the way we live our lives. Just as Yehuda here in the beginning of the parsha sees himself as the one in the right, the sensitive, caring one, and Yosef as the insensitive one to Binyamin and to the family. Of course, Yosef's piece of information shows him how wrong he is. Yosef is the one who cares. If anything, the whole situation here has developed because of Yehuda's insensitivity. There's nothing for the brothers to say. So too on the Yom Hadin when we come before Hashem, there are so many excuses and justifications and answers we give ourselves. We tell ourselves about why we live the way we live. Oy lanu on that day when we're judged for the reality of who we really are. But I think Chazal have a second added message. Oy lanu miyom hadin, oy lanu miyom ha-tochacha. Tochacha means where a person is taught something, shown something. It's not just where a person is punished, where a person is told off for their mistakes. It's where a person is shown things that show him where he was wrong, how he was wrong, the hypocrisy that often is basic to how we live our lives. And that was part of why the brothers were so overwhelmed here. Not just that they realized that they were wrong, but they realized that here they were accusing Yosef when they were the ones who were guilty of what they were accusing him of having done. That kind of tochacha is undermining, is very difficult to have to receive and see. And what the Medrash is encouraging us is to try and live our lives in a way that we won't be the victims of a similar Yom Adin, of a similar Yom tochacha. That we can make sure that we really are living the way we should live that we're really living by the principles of what's right and not by sometimes the misconceptions we tell ourselves of. Let's make this Chesh Ben Anefesh now and internalize and reflect on the way we need to be so that we can stand the Yom Adin which is with as much overlap between how we see ourselves and the truth as possible. Shabbat Shalom.